my loves welcome back to my channel long time no see i'm sorry for the lack of videos lately but your girl has been kind of busy so i haven't been able to film but we're back so i'm gonna be doing a review and demo on the new nars soft matte foundation and the soft matte complete concealer um it's not gonna be a first impressions video because i've been testing this out for the past two weeks and so i already know how i feel about it but I'm going to let you guys know at the end of the video. So with that being said, if you guys are interested, then please keep on watching. Alrighty, my love. So let's get started. Here's the foundation. I got the shade Tahoe Medium Deep 2. Usually with NARS foundations, I always have to mix two shades. So Syracuse and Tahoe. Syracuse is more neutral, more peachy, and it tends to look great around my mouth area. And then Tahoe tends to look a little orangey depending on the foundation. So for this one, I have to mix. Same thing with the sheer glow, I usually have to mix. And then the luminous one, which I don't have anymore because I ran out. Uh, that one, I could get away with just using Syracuse. But with the new one, I decided just to get Tahoe. Just, i rather my foundation look darker than uh, me looking ashy or gray. So I'm just gonna go um, ahead and read the claims of the foundation real quick. So it retails for $40 and there's a total of 34 shades, I believe. It's supposed to be full coverage. It has a matte finish, um, good for all skin types. Um, it is supposed to be a 16 hour wear foundation, oxidation resistant, transfer resistant, and sweat proof. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, prep my skin real quick. So I'm gonna start off by applying the Fresh Rose Deep Hydration Oil Infused Serum. Now I'm gonna moisturize with the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. And I'm gonna prime with the Fenty Soft Silk Hydrating Primer. Just because with this foundation, I do advise that if you have dry, dehydrated skin, you really make sure you prep your skin really well and moisturize really well. All right, so I'm gonna shake the foundation really well. And I'm just gonna apply a little bit because this is super pigmented and it's not necessary to apply a whole bunch of foundation. So I'm gonna grab this sponge right here and I'm gonna start right over here so you guys can see the coverage. For the concealer, I have the Soft Matte Complete Concealer. So this is not a new product for me because I've tried this years ago when it first launched and I used to use the shade Medium Dark One Biscuit. But they recently added more shades um, for this concealer. So I got the shade Sucre Dior Medium Dark One, which is the same shade that I use for the Creamy Radiance Concealer. So I'm gonna grab the Sucre Dior shade and just with my finger, I'm gonna warm it up and I'm just gonna apply this as my under eye concealer. I'm using the airbrush powder by um, Charlotte Tilbury in the shade medium. Alright, so I'm gonna cream contour with the um, Fenty Beauty, which is the Teddy. You guys, I haven't really like filmed in like three weeks, so I feel like I'm new at this and I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> So for bronzer, this is the um, airbrush by Charlotte Tilbury, just very lightly. I'm gonna apply a little bit of a liquid blush. This is the NARS um, Torrid, and that's what that looks like. And just with the same sponge I used to apply my foundation. All right, 
So right on top of that, I'm gonna be using this Becca palette. This is the Chrissy Tegan. I don't know if that's how you say her name. Um, but I'm pretty much going to be just mixing this shade and this shade with a MAC 137. I'm gonna go ahead and spray my face a little bit with Fix Plus. And for highlight, I'm going to use this Dior Backstage Palette. This is uh, Glitz 002. And I'm pretty much just going to use this shade right here with the same brush I used to apply the blush. All right, so for my eyes real quick, I'm going to grab this Desert Haze Palette by Charlotte Tilbury. I'm going to grab this shade right here. I'm gonna grab this Paint Pot by MAC in the shade Perky with a 286 also from MAC. Just all over my lid. All right, so I went ahead and added some mascara with the MAC Extended Play. Now I'm gonna line my lips with Chestnut by MAC. I'm using the MAC uh, Powder Kiss Lipstick in the shade Burning Love. And I'm gonna set everything with the Airbrush Setting Spray by Charlotte Tilbury. Alrighty you guys, so this is the final look. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in so you guys can see up close. So let's get into the wear test. I'm going to go ahead and eat. I am so hungry, like I'm hangry right now. You know what I mean? So uh, I'll be back in a couple of hours so you guys can see how the foundation holds up and then I'll give you guys my overall thoughts. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. Alrighty, you guys, so I am back. It's been about seven hours or so since I applied the foundation. As you guys can see, lipstick came off, I was eating, so. I'm gonna quickly put something on just so I don't look crazy. This is the Kosas uh, lip oil. All right, so much better. I don't look as crazy. So I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in for you guys so you guys can see how the foundation looks and how it pretty much held up. All right, you guys, so this is Future Me, clearly with no makeup on. I just washed my face. So I'm ready to give you guys my overall thoughts on the foundation. And there's a reason why I have no makeup on my face. I'm gonna get into that. So let's start off with the claim that is full coverage. I agree, it's definitely a medium buildable to full coverage type of foundation. A little bit goes a long way. I don't recommend this for someone who's looking for a sheer type of coverage or something that's very natural looking. This is more for those of you who like that full face, beats face type of coverage. Great for special events, for days where you just want your face to look super flawless and just evened out. Now, in terms of the application, I do recommend using either your fingertips or a sponge, a damp sponge, if you have drier skin. If you have oily skin, you can always use a brush or any tool you all prefer. I just feel like because I have drier, dehydrated skin, using a brush tends to kind of absorb all of the moisture from the foundation. So then my skin tends to look a little bit more matte than usual. So I do prefer using like a damp sponge or my fingers. Now, in terms of the actual finish, it does claim to uh, have a soft, matte, comfortable finish, and I agree. When you apply it, it's very hydrating, but once it sets, it definitely looks velvety, but not dry or flaky or cakey or anything like that. I feel like it applies super effortlessly, and I do think that if you have dry skin, there's no need for you to set this with a powder. I feel like you should skip that step. Just make sure you moisturize and prep your skin very, very well. I 
find that if I don't moisturize and I don't use the proper like products to um, hydrate my skin prior to applying this the foundation doesn't look as smooth and as flawless as I would like it to now if you have very oily skin definitely make sure that you uh, set it with a powder otherwise you're gonna get extremely oily throughout the day because this is not the most um, mattifying or oil controlling foundation um, so you're still gonna get that kind of like natural finish rather than a matte finish if you're if you have oily skin now this also claims to be a 16 hour wear transfer uh, proof sweat proof and accident accident are oxidation resistant and I agree in terms of the wear it's definitely long wearing I find that like you know it doesn't really transfer at all I actually put this foundation to the test in terms of working out with it even though that's just so nasty but I just wanted to see if it actually works and um, it was two nights ago that I worked out I had the foundation on and I sweat heavily and the foundation did not budge did not move so in terms of it being uh, sweat proof and kind of like transfer proof I kind of agree so now in terms of it claiming that it's oxidation free I 100% agree I feel like it stays true to color I don't have to mix this with another foundation to make it work and it doesn't turn gray or um, orange or ashy or nothing like I love the shade it works perfectly fine so I really really like that it feels super lightweight on the skin you don't even feel it it doesn't feel heavy it doesn't feel cakey I love the packaging like it is a gorgeous foundation but let's get on to the, the stuff that makes me not like really love it the way that I would love to. Okay, because my skin type is more dehydrated and more dry, especially around my mouth. The foundation starts to kind of like gather around my fine lines after like the first or second hour of wear. It's, it happens whether I set it with a powder or if I don't set it with a powder. Like it just gathers and it just it doesn't look smooth. It makes my skin look old almost, like wrinkly and I feel like it emphasizes texture and pores, emphasizes all of the imperfections that I am trying to pretty much hide with the foundation. You get what I'm saying? Like if you guys go back to the footage where I show you guys like how my foundation looks right after I apply it. My skin doesn't look as flawless or as smooth or as kind of like hydrated as it does when I wear other foundations. That's just my personal opinion. So I personally think this is gonna be great for those of you who have uh, combo or oily skin. Dry skin, not so much. I feel like it just emphasizes all of the imperfections. It makes my pores look larger than usual. Like even my highlights look kind of like chunky and I don't know, I just, I was not feeling it. I was not feeling it. So the formula and the foundation itself is gorgeous, but I just don't think it's suitable for dry skin. That's just my personal opinion. I am going to return it, you guys. Um, fortunately, it's just not something that I'm gonna see myself using because of the finish. It's just a little bit too matte for my skin and not that it's matte in terms of it being drying it's just that the finish makes my skin look old and I don't like that so I'm gonna return it now the concealer I really like um, I've used this before it's not a new formula to me it's great for doing your brows to clean them up if you guys are into doing like cut creases this is the perfect formula because it's not too creamy but it's not too dry so once you apply it it sets and it doesn't move it works really well for that i also think that it's great to just correct discoloration dark spots redness that sort of thing just because again the formula is not creamy um it's not extremely creamy so it's not going to move around and once it sets you're able to apply any other product on top without having to worry about the coverage kind of like fading um, the finish is definitely a velvety, soft, matte finish, but it's not drying. I have very dry under eyes, and I find that like when I apply it, it feels very lightweight. Um, it doesn't really crease. I really like how the found oh, sorry the concealer looks. Um, you don't have to set this. You could just leave it alone. It kind of sets on its own, but I personally do prefer to use a powder to set it to make sure it doesn't crease. So. I really recommend this concealer overall. The foundation, like I said, if you have oily combo skin, you're gonna love it. Dry skin, just beware. Um, and that is it, you guys. I hope that you all enjoyed this video. I'm sorry if this lighting is kind of weird, but it's nighttime now, and I'm just ready to go to bed now. So 
Um, follow your girl on Instagram. Check the description box below for all of the products info. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye, beauties.